Alright, so let's make our way back. Teddy, get us out of here. He can help you. Oh, you don't you don't do that for me. Cause what is what does Teddy ever do for me? <laughs> really is the question. Alright, so we'll continue on our days, and there's a couple of things that we're still waiting on. Welcome home! So we for sure are waiting on the next person who's going to be taken into the TV world. There's also the matter of the camping trip. That's going to be very exciting. I can't wait for whenever we can get that. I thought it was going to be this weekend, but we have to wait a whole week. Hopefully we can get there today. And I just remembered that the other day they just all of a sudden introduced us to Saki's brother. And then like we haven't really heard from him since then. So I'm wondering if he's going to show up in the next couple of days here and we'll be able to talk to him. But in the meantime, we'll see what Nanako... <laughs> Oh no, I need expression for this. Oh no. Okay, let's go see who's out in the world then. Or not. <laughs> Man, you'd think I'd have never played this game before. We will head to bed then and see if any of those things uh, that we have been waiting on will show up in the next couple of days. You dream that Kao and Daisuke were throwing you in the air. Your relationship with them has intensified. I'm learning. I'm trying to- I'm trying- We didn't call them Cow and Daisuke today, and you know what? For me, that's a win. You've attained a license, but you still aren't familiar with the town. You should take your scooter for a ride today. We do gotta be scooting. Let's see. Well, let's see if anyone is available today first. Looks like we can go... for sports. There's no music today. I mean, I want to do music because of my expression. Or Yosuke. What is Yosuke's social link actually at he's only at three hmm which actually isn't too bad athletes are already at three also young mother we could go to work let's go check out actually yeah let's hang out with yosuke hey yo if you're free you want to go somewhere he wants to go somewhere since you have jack frost and we'll go uh, closer. So let's go spend time with him. Oh. <laughs> he looks happy. The Juno's food court. He came with Yosuke for a quick bite to eat. Hanging with you here every so often isn't that bad. Even if we're short on cash, we can get a little discount here. Though there's a small price to pay in exchange for that. Oh, there you are, Hanamura. <sighs> for example. Hello there, senpai. What's wrong today? You better say something to that blockhead manager. I told him I can't come in on Saturdays or Sundays, but he's saying that I have to be here since we're low on staff, and if I don't, he'll fire me. Isn't there some kind of law against that? Uh, didn't you guys say you could work on weekends during your interviews? Well, yeah, they wouldn't hire us if we didn't. Alright, I got it. I'll try talking to him, but you don't want to get fired, right? It'd make it easier for me to strike a deal if you could show up every now and then on the weekends. We'll think about it. You better do it, Kay. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Poor Yosuke, he's just trying to- he's just trying to enjoy his break! Oh, Yosuke-kun, just the man I was looking for. Oh, hi. Hear me out. Remember that claim I had the other day? Well, the head butcher said. Alright, alright, let's talk over there. Sorry. Could you give me a minute? Yosuke wants to listen to the employee. <sighs> oh, I'm beat. I'm not the complaints department. You're incredible, Yosuke. Huh? Dude, it's nothing but trouble. He smiles sheepishly. Ugh, everyone's just trying to take advantage of me as the Junez kid. Maybe I wouldn't mind if, it was, if I was free, but we have the murders to deal with. I don't have time for this. Can the police really handle the killer? Can the law really convict whoever's behind this? Once I started worrying about what that stuff, I knew I couldn't bother with anything else. I have to do what I can. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, that's the spirit. We gotta just cheer him on. Hey, you. What? Don't get carried away. You make me feel like I said something crazy. Okay, he still kind of liked it. He's taken aback though. I never thought I'd be talking about serious stuff like this. Before I moved here, it was a small talk. Stupid, trivial things. Thought that was fine. It's only with you guys that I talk seriously like this. I don't know why, but I feel like I don't have to lie. Especially with you. You've already seen the worst of me and all. 
But well, thinking about it now, if someone had to see that, I'm glad it was you. Thanks. It's a bit late now, but thanks for going in with me with me that time. Yosuke is smiling sheepishly. You feel your relationship with him has grown deeper. I feel like in general, he just feels like he's just someone that takes on so much responsibility more so than he needs to. Or he has like a sense of responsibility. Help, <laughs> Yosuke. We love you. Takaja. Let's see. This one is the stat bonuses for all foes. We got wind damage to everyone. I haven't used this. And it costs like 24 SP. How... How much do I really need that? Is my is my question currently. Okay, but we do have Bash, which is deals light physical damage to one foe. These are the same. It doesn't even say anything about like an extra critical or anything. So are they actually I know that one is more HP than the other. Maybe we'll just get rid of this one. Oops. Because it's too light damage. And that takes out the issue of guessing, you know? <laughs> Man, I'm getting kind of hungry. All right. Let's see if I can get a deal with the guy at the counter to try to get the meat lovers combo. See you later. Hung around the food court with Yosuke before going home. And he feels like he needs to feed us too. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Welcome home. Thank you. Okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> can we go out for a ride in the dark? The scooter you got from Dojima. You shouldn't ride it at night. All right, that's fair enough. That uh, is fair enough. Let's go to the shopping district. Adachi. Bye. <laughs> okay, I don't think there's gonna be a f fusion forecast for today, so um, we could check it for tomorrow, though. And wow, there's no one out here right now either. It's kind of a scam, you know? There will be this lady. Who she's still looking for a goldfish? Okay, and he's still digging. He's still doing his thing. I wonder if at some point we can get him to stop digging. Or dig where he's digging. Like, is there a shovel? A shovel out in the world that I can pick up? Alright, I guess we'll just have to go work. Because there doesn't seem to be anyone out right now. Unless we go eat something. But do I even have money? 68,000? Hey, yo. Yo, let's go feast. Okay, and I think this will be good because the restaurant owner, I feel like he was hinting that his daughter will show up at some point. Hey. Oh. What are you doing out this late? I'm doing overtime. Sometimes it sucks to be a grown up. If it was daytime, they wouldn't know if I slacked off a little. Oops. Well, too far, Dachi. Well, you should go home before it gets too late. Seems busy, so you should talk to him again when it looks like he has more time. Literally all he ever is doing is standing around looking creepy, looking weird. Looking a little suspicious. Oh wait, okay. The whole, too many things. I think... The pub dishwasher? Oh no, I wanted to see what everything would provide if I worked there. So we went this... Steak bowl. Won't leave with an empty stomach and it'll give us understanding. So not that. Okay, let's try the pub. Ah, welcome! Work? Oh, I've been told that someone wanted to work here, but I didn't know it was you. Hmm. Having a young man around here may not be such a bad idea. It may actually attract some new patrons. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I'm only joking. Well then, let me explain what you're doing here. It's quite simple. You'll just be washing dishes and taking away empty glasses. Tipsy patrons may strike up conversations with you, but make sure you stay sociable and listen to them. That's what this place is all about. I'm sure you'll understand when you start learning how to drink. But for now, of course, if you're still too young, if anyone offers you a drink, you need to politely decline. So, will you work today? Hmm, sure, let's try it. You decided to work part-time washing dishes. Now, are we gonna meet someone today? We suddenly washed a pile of dishes? And our diligence has increased. Alright, so diligence at the pub. <gasps> What's this? You finished washing dishes, so you should take care of the empty glasses. Which customer's glasses will you take? Let's take this grumbling young man's. He's looking like he's 
going through it right now. <laughs> when you go clear the grumbling young man's glass, he looks at you as if he wants you to listen. You decide to listen to his complaints about his job. And your understanding has increased. Okay. The pub patrons had enough that you received a bonus on top of your pay? Okay, I like working at the pub. We can get different types of social skills and some extra money on top of that. Okay, what should we do today? Is anyone gonna call us? <gasps> Hello? This is Yukiko. Yukiko! I'm sorry to call you so suddenly. Do you have time to come out today? I know that she's like the highest that we have. Yeah, let's go hang out. Thank you. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. We plan to go out with her. Juna's grocery department. Yukiko brought you here. I wrote down everything I need, so this didn't take that long. What are you making? Uh, uh huh? Promise you won't laugh. Miso soup. She looks a little bit embarrassed. I'm studying the basics of the basics. It's not turning out quite like it does in the book, even though I'm following the directions. Do you want me to teach you? Hmm? Well, really? Oh, I'll pass, but thanks anyways. She looks apologetic. I think there's no point unless I do it alone. Our cooks help me out all the time. At first they just gave me advice, but eventually they take the knife from me. So even if their meal turns out wonderfully, it doesn't mean anything that way. I told them to leave me alone, but they stay, they'll stay and watch. Hmm. Are they worried about my cooking? Uh, they care about you. They care about me? D do you really think so? She looks surprised, but happy. Last time, the head chef took the knife from me, shouting, I can't stand to watch anymore, and made the rest. The waitress saw it and said to the head cook, Yukiko wants to make it herself, even if it's awful. Before I knew it, I was studying how to cook for a boy I like. <laughs> My parents got involved and it exploded from there. Funny, isn't it? But maybe it wasn't all a lie? Is it for me? <gasps> Taste my food again, okay? Yo, yo. This is, this is like pretty, this is like a level eight conversation, is it not? <laughs> I'm feeling a little rushed. She's blushing. You feel a faint hint of love? Love? Yo, what? Okay, she's level six and now I'm scared of her. <laughs> the growth of her heart has affected her persona as well. Emerita, what? Let's see, I think this... Oh, cures all ailments except for down and knockout. Which, we should be able to do this. <gasps> and that's both of the party, let's go. And then Recarm is coming up. Mm, oh yeah, shopping. All right, let's go home. You helped Yukiko with her shopping and walked home partway together. I love how it said you sense love from You're her. Back. Like, <laughs> who else do we sense love from? Is it Yosuke? I went shopping today. The fridge is full of food. Hmm. Plants? Three days. We can save it, unless... Let me think. Hey! What's wrong? Bored? Won't get home closer soon, so let's cancel that. Night. Let's, wait, let's make some food. Spend the evening making tomorrow's lunch, yes. So that we can hang out with someone during school. Surprisingly, you have the ingredients to make potato salad. You decided to make some. What should you do after boiling the potatoes? Stir fry with ham, smash them while still hot. Smash them while still hot. You added ham, onions, and other ingredients after smashing the potatoes. It came out perfectly, looks delicious. Mushy potato salad? Mushy is not an appetizing word, but all right. <laughs> Wait, potato salad? Do you mush that? That's basically, we made mashed potatoes. <laughs> oh, today's the day people begin wearing their summer clothes. Your summer outfit is in your dresser? Ooh. How, do you, how is it already summer? This was so speedy. <gasps> Look at them. You overhear the students talking. Oh, it's finally time to break out the summer wardrobe. It's so refreshing. I hope it's not going to get cold again with all this rain. 
I don't think we'll have to worry about that this year. I hear there's going to be less rain than there was last year. Hmm, okay. So we were worried about the rain this whole time, but I guess just so we don't have so much rain at night, that's why they that's that's gonna be a thing. Okay, so who are we gonna eat with? Let's see, others. Let's eat with... Actually, yeah, let's eat with... Chie. <gasps> Look, she's wearing her green jacket around her waist. Yasugami High Rooftop. We ate lunch with Chie, and you ate mushy potato salad together. Delicious! I've never eaten anything like that, uh, anything that tastes this good before. I want more, but I don't want to finish it all. What a dilemma. Um... Did you make this for me? Oh my god. Have we seen Chie blush before? Because it looks weird. I don't know how I feel about it. Thank you. You feel that your relationship is going to become closer soon. Oh my god. Is she going to have a faint hint of love too? Am I going to pit them against each other? Good afternoon. Are you all awake today? June in Japan can be pretty tiring thanks to all the humidity and the heat. But don't waste your days away with the summer lazy with laziness. Summer is very near, my friends. Speaking of mold. Who brought up mold? <laughs> who was thinking mold, Kondo? <laughs> lactic acid bacteria are effective in treating mold. The lactic acid they produce guards against mold. And that's why foods containing lactic acid bacteria won't get very moldy. Your bodies produce lactic acid when you exercise. Alright. Tell me what kind of exercise builds up lactic acid in the muscles. Aerobics. Nope, the right answer is anaerobic exercise. Strength training is an example of this. Air aerobic exercise, such as jogging, uses lactic acid as energy, so it's hard to build up. Alright, now that we've learned about the lactic acid, everyone do 10 dashes. It's time for some anaerobic exercise. If you produce lactic acid with anaerobic exercise, your body will be clean and mold free. My answer was incorrect. You know what? Are we surprised? Are we surprised? He threw me off with that mold bit, okay? Okay, I think we will take the scooter for a ride today because I want to see what places I'll open up. But first, let's walk around and kind of get a feel if anything new is out here. School camp, huh? Too bad King Moron's gonna be supervising the thing like a prison guard. I suppose even I'll have to behave. Sometimes you just have to deal with the life of a student. I mean, why let one stupid moment of juvenile fun ruin your entire school record? King Moron wouldn't think twice to write you up for the recommendation for suspension. School BM is coming up. I must remain vigilant. Every year, a number of students try to ditch, especially the ones whose houses are nearby. In my class is unacceptable. If Mr. Moroka finds out, they're ditching. And that's why the duty of the wise shepherd is to keep his foolish sheep from straying. Alright, sir. <laughs> it's not that serious. Literally, we're picking up garbage. Um, look at Ayane. Your posture, ma'am, kind of terrible, but that's okay. Yosuke's reading the sign. Let's go up here. He doesn't have a new question for us, <gasps> but another quest. Hello. Did you know that there used to be a cleaning club at this school? I'm the last surviving member of that club. I mean, everyone else has graduated already. I will stay this year. Even though the club will be gone, I'm looking for someone to continue my passion. You seem promising. Would you like to be in would you be interested in succeeding me? Um, sure. Is that so? Then I'd like you to get the equipment that shows that you are indeed worthy of taking our passion for cleanliness. Don't worry, it's nothing difficult. I want you to bring a tool and clothing that is fitting for cleaning. I'd like to bring these back to me. Tool and clothes. Okay. Hmm. Hello? I feel like you're a different design than what I'm used to seeing. There's this girl in my class and she just will not shut up. She's always going on and on about so-and-so from the soccer club and Ko Ko Ch uh, Chan from the basketball club. What an idiot. If she has all that time to watch club activities, then she should use that time to study. Hmm, so maybe I've actually avoided you all this time because you're kind of rude. <laughs> you don't even know me. How are you just gonna talk trash? Oh my god, the teacher. Oh, perfect timing. Can I look to you for some assistance? The truth is, I need some materials to build a new dowsing rod. The rod I've been using seems to have stopped responding to my power. And that's why I thought I might be honest to construct a new one, but... Special objects can only be created from special materials. Do you know anywhere that might be able to find rare raw materials? 
If you do, perhaps I can reward you with something from my artifact collection. I have some very special things you'll never find in stores, so what will it be? I might know a thing or two. Fate guides our hands as history's cogs turn. I'd like you to find me a suspicious pole if you can, please. Okay, so that was number 17. Yosuke's down here. Let's go over to the practice building. Scavenge here for some quests too. Let's see, what did you want? Here's kind of an odd question. Has anyone ever randomly decided you- Okay, she's the one that talks about her, her dad. Well, it may get all glued up again, so it's a cheap thin one is just fine. Please, I'm really counting on you here. Like an old table board that you'd find in a really old castle? Mm, okay. So even though we were just at the castle again, we have to find it somehow. Okay, did we check the first floor over here already? Yukiko's here. No practice, okay. So, looks like no new quests. I want to check the front just to make sure. Like over in this corner? No? Hello? No one. And we'll just work our way through here. Oh my god, another quest? There's so many quests. <laughs> Someone got me and my sister mixed up again. Oh, we're just so alike that people can't tell who is who. Everyone says that they're just jealous. Everyone says that they're jealous. Amazing, isn't it? I have something to ask you. I don't want to walk home with my sister, but I don't know where she went off to. Oh, she wants to. If I wait, she doesn't come at all. Have you seen my sister anywhere? I'll go look for her. Really? You'll find her, right? And then this lady too? Oh my god, I'm overwhelmed. Hey, you there. Wait, can I talk to you? Are you free? It's nice of a young man like you to spend time with an old lady like me. Listen to what I have to say. Do you know what a wedding veil is? Oh wow, that's very admirable in someone as young as you. When a woman gets married, she wears a veil. I was told it prevents demons from making her grow horns after the wedding. My mother-in-law insisted that I wear one. It's outrageous that you'd even consider not wearing one, she said. She always did say did what she wanted in life. I'm not joking, she really didn't like me. Not at all. Anyways, I refused to wear a veil, and we ended up getting into a shouting match during the wedding ceremony. And before I knew it, here I am, just as, as old as she was, shouting and getting angry at everybody. But I'm starting to regret it. I'd say my horns finally fell out or something, wouldn't you? Anyways, I thought I should hang some horns above my bed as a symbol of how I'm turning my outlook on life around. I tell visitors, oh yeah, those were the horns I grew after I got married. <laughs> but nobody sells them. Really? Well, that's so nice of you. I'm counting on you to find me some good ones now. Oh my god, the whole time I thought she wanted me to find her a wedding veil. She really put me through her life story. <laughs> her life story for a quest. I'm overwhelmed. Oh my god, it's you. Are the police handling this investigation or what? They're always a step behind. Don't you think? Uh, yeah, I agree. For real. I just don't want to see your tax dollars going to waste. Hey, don't you think that Moroka guy over at your school is pretty suspicious? He's got a rep for being strict, but he's pretty arrogant too. I bet that deep down, he's got some crazy grudges. And teachers rank pretty low on society's totem pole, you know. Maybe the thought. A student from the rival school dragged on and on. <laughs> I thought exactly. I regret it. I just looked at you because your shirt was yellow. Hmm. Okay, so let's leave the shopping district. Let's go here first. Maybe we can feed the cat. I don't know if I'm supposed to get food first. I need to start, like, really looking at some of these quests. It's been very humid. It's absolutely horrid when you're older. And my daughter's family is getting nosy again, chatting on about how I shouldn't be pushing myself. They look at me with their apologetic faces and say things like, Isn't it inconvenient for you at your age? I don't know if I have... I don't know if I have too many years left, but I don't want anybody's pity. Jeez, such silly things to worry about. By the way, I have a small favor to ask of you, if that's alright. Hey, you... Do you come across very many keys? To be honest, I'd like you to search for one. An old key at that. But please, don't ask why I need it. There's just something I need to open. Ah, uh, thanks. And yes, how about something you could never buy with money? I'm uh, looking for it. Really? Well, I know you're not gonna just stumble on a key all of a sudden, but... I'm sorry, it bothers me. I can't help it. I'll leave it to you. Huh. I wonder if it's out of those shadows that have, like, giant holes in their body and there's a key in it. <laughs> How's Nanako doing? I heard about her from my wife. She comes by sometimes on her way to school. She told me my wife the cutest thing. Eating out is bad, so I'll resist. 
She's a real detective's daughter. That's her kind of discipline is something else. Eating out is bad. She usually doesn't have any other options. I mean, I guess she eats at home with the ramen, but... <gasps> the twin! You've seen that face before. She looks almost exactly like the older sister who was looking for her younger twin. Hmm? My older sister is looking for me? Tell her that I'm here on the floodplain. I won't go anywhere. Okay, easy enough. And cat, hello? Meow! Could this be the cat you've been told about? You don't have any food to give. You need to come prepared. Hmm. We need to go... I'm wondering if that means fish. Do we need to feed the cat some fish? Alright, nothing over here. This man is gonna want a hook. So let's go over to... Town again and check out Junez. Nothing different. What did you want? Unknown. Let's go tell the girl about her twin first. And then I want to check out the velvet room and see if there's any fusion forecast for the next for today or tomorrow. So that's where she is. She, why is she over it? Why is she at a place like that? She should have come back here together with you. Well, that's okay. I'll go over and see her. I'm the big sister after all. Thanks for telling me where she is. Five go homes? I was gonna say, why did I feel like she's gonna go over there and her sister's gonna be gone? Fusion forecast. Use Raksha Asa and Matador in fusion? Matador and... What? <laughs> no. We don't have either of those, first of all. Let's go see if we can make them in the search? By name? Oh, that's by, by Arcana. So I guess it doesn't do it this other way. Can I... Is voice going to show me something? Five most popular fusions available to you among from all the players who are connected to the network? Hmm. So this is just showing me what people like to do? Interesting. Okay, again, so you wanted us to make this. Oh, we gotta get rid of three. <laughs> three? Or we could do this. I'd be sad to get rid of, um... My Jack Frost. Oh no, Matador is 24. We're literally just one level and too low for it. Me heart? That's painful. Wow, actually we could make a lot of a lot of personas right now. I kinda wanna like go down the line and start making all the new ones, but <laughs> maybe maybe that's for another day. Like we haven't made this one yet. Legion and hmm. Let me make sure that I'm nice and fused first. Or not fused, registered. Registered data in this one. Uh, actually, hold on. Yeah, we'll register this one. You are the same. I think Jack Frost might be the only one that we need to. Maybe. Oh my god, no, let's just do all of them. I don't know. <laughs> I kind of want to juice this because it's such a low level, but we could get it out of the way. Decreases one uh, foe's attack for three turns. Let's see this one. And I think we want to pass this on, so we'll keep it. Igor! I wonder what raid it is that he messes these up. 
Oh wait. Oh, this is a wild card? Hello, I'm a Obar Obarion. I will accompany you on your journey. So because he was a wild card, what did that do? I thought that changed the persona completely last time. He did go up like two levels. Merge with the sea of your soul. Okay. Alright, so we went through a lot of things today. Let's go back home and do our little scooting around. So scooter you got from Dojima. Uh, what will you do? Just around the neighborhood. I'm just saying that scooter looks like it's big enough for two people. Am I right? There's a good amount of space in that on that seat. After getting lost, you reach the hill overlooking town, but you feel as if you've gotten a very good feel for the place. If you ride around a little more, you'll be completely familiar with the area. And our courage has increased. Welcome back. Hmm, let's go do gardening today. Actually, I think it's at the, the day before you get a better boost. So let's go see if anyone's out today. Or if, if not, maybe we'll just go eat something. We could work again. I'm more interested in expression though. Oh my god, hi! Look at him in his summer outfit. He's so cute. I love him. Mm, ultra hot and heat delicious. And it may re raise courage. Okay, so... Ko... Ko Dojima... Working. I feel like I'm gonna go make envelopes. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many options, y'all. <laughs> And I feel like it doesn't help that, that you can- Whoa. Whoa. Hello, it's me. How's your schedule tomorrow? Let's go inside the TV. You know, we have to keep training, just in case. I'm not gonna force you, so don't stress over it. Oh. Has that happened before? I don't think so. You realize you haven't uh, bought anything from the home shopping program this week? Maybe you should watch it? It's Monday. What happened on last Sunday that I didn't buy anything? Oh, I was poor. <laughs> That's what happens. Okay, so let's see what we should get. Fire suppressor? No, we don't need that. Bomb of life, though. Let's get this. Because I'm pretty sure we already have a fire suppressor. Ooh, okay, yeah. The like way to just give me 18 more options when I already said I was overwhelmed with options. <laughs> oh, are we can read too. This is the one that's expression. Yeah, we should do this. And we'll try to finish this book within the next couple days, too. He started to continue reading English Made Easy, a collection of illustrated sample conversations for many common situations, from good morning to good night. Okay, one more day of reading, I think. Oh, but it is raining. The school camp starts next weekend, doesn't it? Oh, right. It's gonna be all work. I'm not gonna have any fun at all. Ugh, there has to be some way I can ditch this stupid camp. Alright, let's get together and brainstorm ideas on how to get out of this. Where is y'all's school spirit? Where is your love for Inaba to clean it up? Hmm? Who wants to talk to me today? Oh, Senpai! I just wanted to remind you that we have practice today. I'm going to practice with everyone today, so please come if you can. Well, 
if it gets me a little closer to hang out with Nanako again, I am there. I'm running. Oh, hey Yosuke, what you doing? Yo! How about we go inside the TV? Oh, never mind. Not today. Mm. We just got back from there. <laughs> I'm a busy boy, okay? Hi. Senpai! Are you gonna practice now? I feel like luckily we have all the personas for the people that we've hung out with. Um, honestly, completely on accident. But maybe that's like a we can just focus on certain people on cert with these with these days or like in a couple days in a row, as long as we have their personas. Oh, look at the time! They're about to lock up the school. <sighs> Shoot, I can't play the part I was messing up last time. Can you practice at home? I wish I could, but my house isn't very insulated. Her neighbors complain about the noise. Ayana is thinking. It'd be nice to be able to play outside, but I'd embarrass myself if I went alone. <gasps> Alright, follow me. Oh. <laughs> oh, do you want me to help out? Because I guess I will. Your understanding has increased. Huh? Are you sure? She looks happy. Even if I'm not brave. The flood plains? Look at us! You practice it in between rainstorms at the riverbank with Ayane. And your expression has increased. Oh, persuasive. Y'all see that? It says persuasive. It says hang out with Nanako right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I'm distracting you from your own practice, aren't I? Just hang in there. You lectured on Ayane on the importance of perseverance. And your diligence has increased. Holy my god, Ayane? Hello? She's the most useful person <laughs> in this yes! world. You're right. If I have time to whine, I have time to practice. I really appreciate pra you practicing with me. I'll keep trying. Thank uh, you very much. Thank you for doing this. You feel Ayane's appreciation for you. And she also has a hint of love. <laughs> in my mind, Ayane has been obsessed. Obsessed with Rogue from the beginning. have that much talent, but even I have dreams. I'd love to make music that could reach out to someone who really needed it. It'd be great if I could make people happy. <laughs> Kinda silly, I know. No, they did not just intensify the Pikachu-ness of her face. Look at her. She looks like she's about to thundershock me to oblivion. <laughs> but it's so cute. We better be going, Senpai. I'll see you at school. Goodbye. Oh, that was the cutest little... Oh, bye! I love her. I really do. You parted with Ayane and went home. She's adorable. Nanako's watching TV today, as usual. If you want, you can change the channel. But look at her little summer dress. She's so cute. Nanako looks bored. Might as well try a magic trick. Nanako is watching curiously. And you decide to show her a magic trick. You put the rubber band in your index and middle finger, and you hook it with a ring finger and pinky with a Nanako watch noticing. What are you doing? Honestly, I don't know. It just told me a bunch of limbs that are wrapping around something else. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. When you open up your hand, you head close slightly. The rubber band springs off the index and the middle finger, instantly moving over to the ring finger and pinky. Nanako saw part of the trick. She seems delighted anyway. Okay, my turn now. Yeah. Nanako's laughing cheerfully. The night continues. Maybe I can't hang out with Nanako because literally my face hurts too much when I'm talking to her. I just can't stop smiling. Yo! Partner! <laughs> the, way, the way it says hee hee. <laughs> Wait till you hear this. I finally got a motorcycle. My very own. Just like I've been dreaming about. I've been on cloud nine all morning. So why don't we take our motorcycles out for a spin at the Okina after school? You know, what you once promised you would. The up and close and personal plan, huh? Hey, you remembered. That's my partner. 
It's time to put our let's use motorcycles to hit on city girls plan in action. I want to make sure I have a girlfriend to spend the summer with this year. Don't you? Let's head there as soon as class is let out. Okay. Close and personal. I was talking about myself. Did, did anyone else think that? I did. I wasn't talking about other girls. <laughs> School camp will be taking place this weekend. Remember, this isn't like ordinary camping. It's going to be the place of education to wind up the lazy ass minds you get from screwing around all the time. I'll show you what morals are all about. And I'll send anyone home who brings down the morale. You remember that. What? You don't know what the difference between morals and morale? Morals are about virtue. Morale is... Tell me, Hanamura, you seem to be lacking morals. Damn it. Okay, moron. I thought I if I or I thought I knew, but now I'm doubting myself. Sorry. Tell me what morale is. Uh cheerfulness in a in a group? Huh, that was unexpected. Did you tell him the answer? Anyways, yes. Morale refers to the enthusiasm of a group or an individual within a group. You remember when those women were killed? This shit like that brings down people's morale and their morals. And maybe that'll all happen to you if you keep living the lives of low morals and low morale. What a low thing to say. Thanks. I don't want I don't want to think about what he'd say if I missed that. He appreciates me. An expression has increased too. Yo, we're expressive as hell. You want a poem? I'll give you a poem. It'll be the saddest poem you've ever heard. <gasps> Whoa, we're zooming! Hello, Okina Station. That was easier than I oh, thought. Oh, his is so cute. He actually followed us all the way here. Oh my god, is it... Kanji? <laughs> that was a breeze. Oh. It's no sweat keeping up with a couple of guys still getting used to their scooters. Look, I said earlier, there's room in the back seat, Kanji. Just, again, you gotta smoosh. Psh, if I hadn't run out of gas back there, we'd have left you in the dust. I shouldn't have cheaped out on gas just so I could have more money to fool around with. You know, I notice every time I come here, there's a lot of people around. Yeah, if we hang out around here, I bet someone will come talk to us. Actually, uh, mind if I head off for a bit? <laughs> Since I came all the way to Okina, uh, there, there's this craft shop? Oh my god, let's go. Let's go with him. It's nothing. I'm just just saying I gotta go buy some stuff. Like, look at his little basket. He can carry so many crafts. Anyway, I'm gonna go do my own thing for a bit. So you guys get started without me. <laughs> then why'd he come with us? Don't worry about it. You're right. Okay, let's get this plan underway. Yosuke, you're always winking at me, you know? <laughs> you decided to wait here for a while. That early summer sunlight feels nice. What a day! Do we think there will be a couple girls that will come up to us? The early summer sunlight beats down. Sorry to make you guys wait. I couldn't decide which one to get. God, you were gone for three hours, luck, Kanji? Huh? This is so weird. I think someone's watching us from somewhere, though. Hmm. I want to go home. Uh, hold on. I'm sure if we hang around a little longer... Dude, the sun's gonna set. Well, maybe there's some holes in your plan after all. Is it me? Am I the problem? Nah, you're fine. Your motorcycle looks cool and you don't look so bad yourself. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you said every guy needs a motorcycle, but that thing's a scooter. Does it, like, not matter what kind of motorcycle it is as long as you got one? Well... It's true that the ones I saw in the magazine were all big motorcycles. But that's just how it goes! There's always a gap between a man's dream and cold hard reality. I can't afford an expensive one. A scooter's the best I can do! Senpai, can you give me ten minutes? I can't keep quiet after getting shut out like this. I'll avenge you guys! What is going on? What? This isn't a fight, you know. <laughs> Who are you avenging? What are you gonna do to avenge us? <laughs> Hit on some girls? Hell yeah! How else would I fix this? Come on, we have motorbikes and we failed. There's no way you could do better. Three minutes is all I need. What are you saying? I don't know. I really Even don't. Instant ramen takes five <laughs> minutes to make. I don't know. What am I now signing up for? That's my senpai. 
Let's make this a contest. I'll show you clowns how a real man gets it done. Calm down. This is turning into something we've all got a stake in. I mean, do you realize what you're saying? This means we're the ones that have to approach the girls. That just sounds lame. And I doubt it'll go well for us. I would like to see it though. You chicken? I would like to see each of their flirting style up close and personal. That's not what I mean. All we gotta do is ask them to be our friend and then make them say yes. Nothing to it. Well, I guess there's nothing to lose. That's the spirit, senpai. If I lose, I'll run around the block in nothing but my underwear and those gag glasses Yukiko-senpai had. Oh, okay. <laughs> now we know Only that's on the table. Only count for this, all right? You're still stuck on that? Damn it! Hell if I'm gonna lose this! In a strange turn of events, the three of you are having a pickup contest? No way. No way! <laughs> I'm actually going to... Let's see. Who... Hey, sir. I'm at Okina Station. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Middle-aged police officer is on the job here. Will you speak to him? Yes. Mm, what's the matter? <gasps> oh. Persona, you're so gay. Let me hit on this man. What's your number? My number? If you have an emergency, it's 110. Wait, are you trying to hit on people? I have you, kids. So free. I wish I could join you. Uh, I mean, I can't help you there. If you could find uh, uh, that out just by asking a police officer, I'm sure my younger days would have been a lot more exciting. Okay, but I want your number. <laughs> my number? I don't know about that. I have a wife and kids. I don't know if I want it. <laughs> How far can I take this? <laughs> I don't... The thing is, is that he's, he's thinking about it. Like, I feel like it's just... He's on a, no, I don't want to explore. He said, I don't know if I want to explore. <laughs> a anyway, you're a kid. You should be home. The police officer is anxious. You shouldn't bother him about his number anymore. Little time passed. Hey. Don't talk to me unless you need me for something. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Okay, where are other men? <laughs> Hi, Ganji. Can I hit on you? Hey, give it to me. Um, but... Hurry up. I ain't got all day. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't have any money. What? I just wanted to fix the string. The uh, string? Yeah, the threads in your sleeve are coming undone. The string's hanging out. It's driving me crazy. I'm gonna blind stitch the hell out of it. Uh, please don't hurt me. I'm sorry it's unraveling. Neither of them seems to be understanding each other. <laughs> Okay, we gotta see what Yosuke is up to. Wow, so your dad runs a Juness? I see their commercials all the time. Yep, we always thank our customers. Every day is great at your Juness. I'll show you around the Inaba store if I can get your number, that is. So yeah, it would be really great just if I could get that number. What? But I never go to Inaba. I'll give you a coupon for me, 20% off, good only on Wednesdays. Uh, whatever, no thanks. Then just the last eight digits of your number. That's good enough for me. Yosuke seems to be having a hard time. This is making me nervous. Who else can I flirt with? She looks very young. She looks like a child. You look too old. Hey. Flamboyant high school girl. And that guy trying to pick me up was such a loser. That nose piercing of his made him look like a cow. <laughs> that sounds awful. What did he think he was? A knob of beef? A couple of flashy high school girls are here. Will you talk to them? Yeah. What the hell? Who are you? Are you hitting on us? Well, he's kind of cute. We're not doing anything right now, so maybe we could hang out. I haven't seen you around. Where do you live? Here? <laughs> what? Really? I've never seen you before. I bet he's from Anaba and doesn't want us to admit it. I heard Anaba's so dead. The farm animals haven't taken over. Four legs good, two legs bad. <laughs> That sounds like- that's like the book. Let me hear you squeal, country boy. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> if you say so. You went with the flow and gave a squeal. Your courage has increased. And I'm brave. <laughs> You're so funny. Oink oink, sweet. Whatever you Naba people do to keep your pig overlords happy. That was a good one. I bet you're one of the pig's pets in Naba. 
You seem to hit it off with the girls. You spoke with the girls for a while. Hey, give me your cell number. I'll call you when I'm bored. If I can get yours too. What? Why do we have to give you ours? Like I said, we'll call you. Don't be so desperate, jeez. Come on, give me your number. I'll call you when we're bored and you'll be there in five minutes to entertain us. Simple, huh? If you're late, I'll post your number to an online dating site. You feel the situation turning ugly. It seems wise to run away. Yeah, what the hell, you crazies? You somehow are able to uh, ext extricate? Extricate. <laughs> yourself from the girls. You didn't get their phone numbers. It's all time has passed. Hmm. Phew. There's a neatly dressed girl here. Will you talk to her? Yeah, I'll talk to her. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I help you with something? You want to talk? Oh, um... I'm not used to this. She looks embarrassed. Sorry, I'm really nervous. I can't really explain it. Are you okay? Yes. It's time like this that these... Uh, one must be its calmest. It must regain the balance in my heart or evil will rush in. Hmm. The woman started to breathe deeply. I'm alright now. My soul has been saved through God's intervention. Oh, I'm believing. <laughs> Are you aware of this? At this very moment, our world is filled with demons and despair. That despair will invade people's souls. Eventually, the world will become hard and cruel. Illness, accidents, bad luck, all evil in this world stems from despair. I'm sure what brought your soul's cries for hope or what brought you to me. The woman seems serious. However, you must not fear. There is still a path to salvation. If you pray to our God, your soul will be purified and we will be able to lead a happy, fulfilled life. Her pure eyes gleam at you. The time is now. Find your happy place and gain inner joy. What the <laughs> Are you kidding? Is this the day that Rogue finds God? The chant. Then chant with me. Let our hearts be as one. Ready? Here we go. Let's all go to our happy place. You chanted with the woman. However, it wasn't long before you came to your senses. You failed to get her over. <laughs> oh my god. Surely she chanted a couple numbers in that. In that whole thing. Hmm, okay. These ladies look, uh, a little out of my, how you say, age category. Like, if we were doing a survey, they'd be picking a completely different box from me. Housewife with groceries? Okay, <laughs> was not wrong. Did you hear? Sado-san is a grandmother now. Really? I think, didn't their daughter just come of age? A couple of housewives here. Maybe you should talk to them? Okay. What is it? I'm hitting on you guys. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. You're hitting on an old lady like me? Though, well, I shouldn't brag, but I was the talk of the town in my younger days. Me too. Men in town couldn't stop talking about me. They called me the Black Widow of Okina. Oh, you're making me remember things. <laughs> the housewives seem to be enjoying themselves in this conversation. You're a handsome one, though. I'm sure you're to be popular at school. You look serious, but I bet you play the field. Hmm. No comment. Oh, now I'm curious. You bet, but you be careful with women. If you fool around too much, you'll enrage some poor soul, and then you'll go to hell. Uh huh. <laughs> the housewives are having fun. Oh no, the conversation doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Are we surprised? If only I was 20 years younger. We've heard that one before. Oh, you're very cute. Hello? This is a child. No, don't. No, I. Who oh, I meant to say? Don't talk to her. Oh my God, I'm going to jail. There's a cop literally over there. See? Que quieres? How will you respond? Uh. Can you speak Japanese? Vaya. Eres on. Uh, nope. <laughs> Little girl's mocking you. We live in a global culture. You have to be able to speak Spanish. Well, I'm going to go now. Adios. Good. I'm not ready to go to jail. Gosh dang it, nothing today again. There's an older woman here. Maybe you should talk to her. You seem young. How old are you? What do you do? I'm a hardworking adult. Where? Do you work for a listed company? What's your annual take home? The woman is suddenly looking at you differently. Are you the oldest child, second oldest? What's your family structure like? Do you live with your parents? Is your parents' house a rental or do they own? Is it a house or an apartment? The woman has rapid fire stream of questions. 
Oh, sorry, I just like knowing these things. Just so as not to give you the third degree here, let me introduce myself. I'm a homemaking assistant by trade, and my hobbies are gardening and traveling. I'm a groovy, hip, with it 23 year old. Something rings strange about what she just said. Is she really 23 years old? <laughs> Older lady? <laughs> I've been really lonely lately. My bed feels so empty. I've played around with guys before, but I can't live my whole life as a tease, so I thought it would settle down. She's looking at you expectantly. Hmm. I'm your man. Wow, that is so sexy. On our anniversary, you should take me out to eat. French or Italian would be nice. We could split the housework and childcare. The woman winked at you. Oh, do you like kids? How many do you want when we get married? I actually have uh, my half of my marriage license all filled out and ready to go. <laughs> I'm game whenever you are. You just gotta sign on the dotted line. Actually, do you want to sign it now? It seems like a good time to come clean about the fact that you're in high school. What? A second year in high school? You're just a kid. Don't make passes at me, you stupid little boy. If you're under 18, you're under my limit. Go talk to someone else. Attitude has suddenly changed. You should give up on asking her number. Okay, he's still harassing her. This girl actually looks promising. Surely, surely she'll be the one. A beautiful lady. There's a gorgeous woman here. Will you talk to her? Yeah. Hmm? What does a cute boy like you want with me? Oh god. Oh, we can't fuck this up, y'all. We can't mess this one up. Um. Are you alone? Um, well, I'm waiting for someone. Are you making a pass at me? I kind of like younger boys. They're innocent and adorable and makes me want to educate them about some things. Hmm, how do you feel about older women? I love them. Oh really? Then we might be a good match. Hey, do you really want to hang out? Not today, I mean, and not if you don't want to. But if you want, I could teach you a lot about how grown-ups play. Things are going well. One more push and you may be able to get her number. Well, do you want to play with me? <laughs> I feel like we just say yes. Is that too desperate? What will we play? That feels more like play- like... Hmm... What will we play? I think it'll be easier to show you than to explain. But I have something to do right now, so this isn't the best day. Maybe next time. We try to get her digits, ask for her number. All right, here you go, just for you. Call me, won't you? <laughs> I'll be waiting. You look more, you took more time than expected. You need me up with your friends. No one tell me if I, if there was no way to fail that because I am How'd it go? <laughs> my ego through the roof right now. <laughs> Not as well as I hoped. I thought so. Oh, but I did get a phone number from some chick who said to give her a call. Does that count? A girl hit on you? What did she say? Something like it only costing so much for an hour. I don't know. What was she talking about? <laughs> How dense are you? There's no way that counts. His head is huge. What about you? Did you get anything? Ooh. Now we're bragging. Of course. Way to go, partner. Was it her cell? What kind of girl was it? Come on, you should call her up. Please. Pretty please. Oh. Please. <laughs> You're scary. How many times are you going to beg? Oh, I'm scared of you. So you're going to call her, right? Right? You decide to try and call the number you got. Oh, no. It's fake. Don't do this. I'm embarrassed. She picked up. Oh, senpai's the man. Uh, hello? Oh, God. <laughs> Get me out of here. You hear an unfamiliar man's voice on the other end of the line. Mm. Let me talk. Hello? <laughs> oh, I get it. It's you, huh? You rat bastard. You're dead, shitbird. A shitbird? That's a new one. How dare you hit on my girl? I'll rip off your head and spit down your neck. You better not call again. Got it? Look, it still counts. I can hear him from here. If anything, that's probably worth double points. Is that dude for real? Well, <laughs> that's a risk you take. All right, I'm up next. 
Last chance. You pulled it off, Yosuke Senpai? <laughs> of course I did. One phone number right here. What? Yosuke, are you cheating on me? Amazing. Man, it wasn't easy, too. She was crazy hot. I just had to push myself a bit and go for a sexy older woman. Time to give her a call. I hope you guys are ready for this. Hello? It's me. Yosuke-kun? Hmm? Yep, the guy who asked you out on a motorcycle ride. Man, I can't wait. Huh? You know my name? Did I tell you? Of course I know your name. It's okay. What? Huh. We go to the same school. <laughs> we do? <laughs> That's impossible. I mean, you... Wait. That voice. This is Hanako Otani. Who did you think I was? Uh, how did you get my number? What's going on? Oh, God. I'm in such deep shit. D did I call the wrong number? Uh, one more try. Hello, it's me. Yeah, I know who you are. You really want to go on a date with me that much? The hell was that? It sounded like a fiend from the pits of the <laughs> earth. Ugh, you could feel a chill go down my spine. Forget about it. For your own sake. This number is dangerous. It's better that you don't know what that was. The music is making me think that I should actually be scared right now. Oh, you guys. Hanako-san! Why are you oh here? Oh god, so we were being watched. The countryside's no place for a girl like me. I was taking a walk when I suddenly got a phone call. <laughs> You're really into me, aren't you? A motorcycle date. <laughs> this music well, is out you of want control. To ride that bad. I'll go with <laughs> you. <laughs> Wait! Oh. <laughs> no, my Bye. Uh, my motorcycle! Oh my god. Oh, what's with this scooter? It's broken. Hey, Yosuke, we will rebuild it. If you it. want to take me out, you've got to do better than that. The best girls don't go steady for nothing, you know. You need to make an effort. Two thousand eight, oh, man. First, <laughs> that's all I gotta say. Did I insult a gypsy or something? It's a curse. <laughs> Easy for you to say. I don't even have a way to get home now. Again, I point to my seat on my bike. Senpai, you fought well. I was totally moved by all that. Come on, hop on behind me. I'll get you back home safe. You? No, me. Come Whoa, on. Up close and personal. Come on. <laughs> I'm gonna slam my fist down. I get it now. So this is what your plan was about. <sighs> oh, you don't get anything. And you're freaking me out. And dude, it's against the law to have two people on a bike. It's okay. Just put an end to this suffering already. You saw Yosuke get off to the station and decide to go home with Kanji. You should be able to come to Okinawa or Okina on your own now, if you have enough experience with your scooter. Oh, fun! Okay. So it looked like the movie theater was out here and there was a Welcome couple home. shops. And we got our bomb of life too. Oh, it's plant day! Okay, so let's go ahead and harvest. Man, why isn't Dojima here? I want to help harvest too. We've got veggies. <laughs> Only two? You know I needed three. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay, maybe we'll talk to the lady again, and maybe we hit. Maybe we grew some earlier. Come on, grow. I'm excited. All right, Nanako. Guess what I did this week. Hey, big bro? Oh no, I'm kind of scared though for this conversation. Because <laughs> I think she wants to start talking about her mom. Why do people die? 
Is Nalako talking about her mother who died in an accident? She's looking straight at you. It's a difficult question for a girl Nanako's age to understand, but with your level of expression, you were able to explain it to her. And since we have Archangel, the Persona of Justice Arcana, you might be able to get along well. Okay, let's spend time with her. Yeah! She looks happy! Pff, brother, probably not for long. <laughs> there you go. We decided to talk to Nanako about life and death. Mm. This is hard, but I get it. Thank you, big bro. She's nodding her head cheerfully. Why all these questions? Well... There was a funeral on TV, and a bunch of people were there, crying. She looks down, sadly. What happens to a person when they die? I don't know. Hmm, I see. Even you don't know. Looks like she understands. Oh yeah, I saw this person on the news. Robbery at the post office. Why do bad people do bad things? Hmm. Sometimes, sometimes they have no choice. They have no choice? I feel sorry for them. Nanako looks sad. But if there were no bad people, Dad would be home more. Last year, there weren't many crimes, so Dad was here a lot. He used to pick me up from kindergarten. Are bad people more important to dad than I am? Oh my god. He's protecting you. Mm. I don't get it. She's thinking. It seems that Nanako is bearing her sadness stoically. You feel that you understand her loneliness. <laughs> Y'all. Are all of her hangouts gonna be like this? I'm scared. Let's talk about something else, big bro. You decided to talk to about something different with lonely looking Nanako. Good night. Mm. I'm now afraid of her. <laughs> I used to love her and now I'm afraid. Oh, good morning. School camp starts tomorrow. We'll be in the same group, but what should we be cooking for dinner? Hey, don't we get every- why don't we get everyone and go buy ingredients after school? Yeah, we should do that! Okay, I'll be sure to let Chie and Yosuke kun know to then too. A little shopping trip with the friends? It sounds like a great way to start off this trip. Juna's grocery department. You came with the others to buy ingredients for the cookout tomorrow. What do you put in curry again? Carrots. Potatoes, onions, mushrooms, green peppers, and radishes? Are radishes the same as turnips? They're apparently going to make curry. Curry's fine, right? It's practically our national food. We were going back and forth between ramen and curry, but I thought ramen might not be enough for you guys. Hmm, I wonder what kind of ingredients Yosuke likes. I get the feeling he's real picky. He's on another floor, isn't he? Do you want me to go ask? Nah, no need. Plus, he said he needed to get ready for something. Hmm. Are we not gonna see him today? Hey, Chie, you use potato starch for curry, right? Of course you do. <laughs> Otherwise, the sauce wouldn't thicken. Then we need potato starch and some flour, too. There's different kinds of flour! Which one should we get? All purpose? Whole wheat? Hmm. Whole wheat sounds healthy. It sounds like a disaster. Let's get that one. <laughs> it and really does. Here they are. Chili peppers. It's not curry if it isn't spicy. Oh well. Let's just get everything that seems right. How about some kimchi, too? Ooh, and some ground pepper. There's a lot to bring on a camping trip. There's two kinds, though. Black and white. Whoa! Way to go, Yukiko! The Amagi family sure knows their stuff. Let's get both, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> get five of everything. Oh, yeah. We'll need some special ingredients, too, to spice... Hmm. I remember seeing something on TV about that. I think it was, um, chocolate, uh, coffee, yogurt, 
coffee and curry? <gasps> How about mint chocolate? Ooh, I love that stuff. Miss ma'am, what is going on over here? I don't like coffee that much, though. Oh, I can drink mocha, so let's get that. What about some seafood? That should make the sauce taste better. So mint chocolate seafood curry? Is that what we're having now? <laughs> is is that what I'm really signing Welcome up back. for? Well. Hmm. So our we won't go up in our <laughs> friendship, but I think we'll just go ahead and spend time with him. No. Uh. Size, but looks a bit happy. That's me. That's <laughs> me, Zell. It's time! <laughs> we finally get to go on our trip! Today is the first day of the school camp out. You should probably hurry to the meeting place. School camp at dusk. Oh, the girl is there! <laughs> so funny. Ugh, picking up all that trash was murder on my back! I can't believe someone threw away an entire bike. Damn it, litterers should have to deal with their own garbage. Did he not just leave his bike in the middle of that city? Anyways, time for dinner. Man, I'm starving. Dude, the girls cook just for us! Not that I expect much out of Chie, but Yukiko's got the full tradition of the Amagi in behind her food. Brother, you will be surprised. You know it's gonna be out <laughs> of this world. Um, I'll give you mine too. Huh? Why so generous all of a sudden? It's okay, man. Just enjoy. I can't wait to dig in. That is some brown Can curry. <laughs> taste this. Huh? Only if you do it first. They brought this whole box, too? For one dinner? Oh man, here it comes! Uh, sorry for the wait. Um... We put a lot of love into it. <laughs> well, really? That's kind of cliched, but still awesome! Okay then, chow time! Oh no. Ew. No. Hey. What the hell is this? I mean, what kind of curry supposed to be like really spicy or kind of mild? This just stinks. And it's gritty too. It's somehow both gritty and slimy and it's got squishy parts in it. It's so freaking nasty, I can't even swallow it! Well, it just didn't mix too well. But it does offer a wide variety of textures. It's nauseating! Come on, it's not that bad. That's just your opinion. I'm telling you as a friend, don't do it. I wouldn't even joke about trying that slop. Oh my god, he sounds so serious. You're being looked at with expectation. Pretend to eat it and discard it, you know? But we, we gotta do it. Chie and Yukiko are staring at you. It doesn't look as though you'll be able to fake it. But we're gonna try. The second you put it in your mouth, you sense that something is wrong. You can tell that after one bite, this isn't edible. And <laughs> there's no way you can swallow it. The way he just plopped was great. Oh, We're sorry. Sorry. What are we gonna do? Our group's the only one without food. I mean, if it was even slightly edible, that'd be one thing. But I'm not taking another bite of this mystery food X. Must not be that hungry then. <gasps> Something smells good. Hanako. I don't have any choice. And besides, she owes me, considering what she did to my motorcycle. 
hey, <laughs> she and Yukiko uh, are like, what? You wouldn't happen to have any extra curry left, huh? Come on, give us some. We're begging you. We're starving to death here. <sighs> no way. <laughs> I'm on a diet right now, so this is all that I made. It has to last me. All that you made? It's like a bucket full. Listen, it's called survival of the fittest. You can't make oh, your own food. I you go if there's first. There's any way we can get something <laughs> delivered here. But our cell phones don't get service up here. And dinner time's almost over. All right, back to your tents. Men's tents are this way, and the girls' tents are that oh way. Oh my god, his vein is gonna Come burst. Come on, people, look alive! Youngsters like yourselves should hurry up and get to bed after they eat. It's now time for us teachers to have some boo. I mean, uh, <laughs> off to bed! Lights out! <laughs> you guys are gonna pay for this. <laughs> Night. <laughs> they were nice enough to make us food okay they did their best <laughs> inside our tent hi Damn kanji it. i'm so hungry and how the hell did you end up here my teach threatened to hold me back a year if i didn't show and the first year's tent is all quiet it's like someone died well, if you were in there with him, I'm not surprised. He just wants to have a normal high school. Is it just you two in this tent? Except accept it and have friends, y'all. The other guys called in sick. Smart move. So it's okay if I hang out here? As long as you want, Bissy. Hey, you're a stand-up guy, senpai. Don't worry, I won't make any trouble for you. They won't catch me unless we raise a ruckus. All right, all right. You can sleep over there. Dude, there's a huge rock under there. <laughs> How am I supposed to sleep? It's gonna hurt like hell. It's okay. You can cuddle with us. Pipe down. Didn't you say you weren't gonna make any noise? Yo, senpai. Can't you go just a little further back? Nope. There's a slope just past here. I'd roll down the hill in my sleep. If you don't like it here, go back to the first year tent. This is a huge tent, though. Hey. Wasn't your teacher some guy called King Moron? That guy stopped me outside earlier and he pissed me off so bad I was about to lose it. He was going on and on about when I was in middle school. When he doesn't know shit about any of that. Not only that, he was bullshitting about how I'll be expelled immediately if I cause trouble. That ain't funny, man. Yeah, that guy set a speed record for jumping to conclusions. Check this out, right? I heard it from a guy in my class. He said that asshole was talking shit about the two girls who died. King Moron was talking about Ms. Yamano and Saki-senpai? It was like, it's no surprise that people who are unfaithful or run away from home meet a bad end. I don't know, maybe he was exaggerating. Everyone seems to hate that son of a bitch Moraoka. Yeah, I mean, did you hear what you just said? That, <laughs> that makes sense to me. Damn, I could just picture him saying that. He never shut up about me either when I moved here last year. Not that I remember anything he said. Even if it's only a little true, it still pisses me off. The dickhead's a damn teacher for God's sake. <laughs> the random crunching? <laughs> nah, don't waste your energy getting pissed at that clown. <clears throat> yeah, you got a point. Wait a sec. What are you eating? Animal crackers? <laughs> what the? Those are mine! <laughs> damn it! I was so pumped about fighting the <laughs> penguin today. Give him his penguin now, Yosuke. Penguin? The secret animal cracker. You were eating them and you didn't know that? Oh, are you serious? Well, you should have said something. Oh, well. Oh, this isn't going to fill me up. Oh, let's just go to sleep. That's all you got to say for yourself after taking my snacks. Kanji, don't you have more space on your side? And I can't sleep over there, or my back's gonna break. Oh, okay. I'm having a great uh, time. Hey. <laughs> Just in case anyone was wondering. Yeah? Why'd you come to this tent? <laughs> I already told you. 
Jeez, wrong with you. This is as good a time as any, so I want you to be honest with us. Oh my god, it's getting real. This is the true slumber party vibes. It gets late, everyone starts expressing their feelings, there's gonna be a little bit of tears. Uh, okay. Are you really, you know... Whoa. Am I really what? Whoa. What I mean is, um... Are we going to be safe alone with you? Yosuke, they might have written the queerness out of your code, <laughs> but you know the feelings are still there, okay? We're fine. What? You're, you're, you're an ass. What? what the hell is that supposed to mean? I already told you guys I'm not like that. Well, then why are you all hot and bothered about it? That's just more suspicious. Hell no! We settled this already, damn it. Right now I'm well how do I put it? Uh Oh god, don't trail off like that. You're freaking me out. I'm trying to tell you that I have no problem being around girls now. He's shaking. Look at him. Can you prove it? <laughs> prove it? Cause if you can't, we're gonna be stuck here all night, half scared to death. Oh my god, yo scary. <laughs> to, to hell with this. If that's what you really think of me, then I'm gonna go hit the girls' tent right now! Uh, wait, well that's a little extreme. You don't have to go that far. They'll expel you if they find you. Don't tell me you forgot. King Moron's got his eye on you. Yeah, like that stop a man like me. The dude's seriously going for it. Hey man, you gotta stop him! Mm, don't do this. Try to convince Kanji not to go through with it. Expression has increased, but he's not listening. You think I'm gonna put up with this crap? I'll show you guys. To hell with King Moron. No one's stopping Kanji Tatsumi, damn it. Uh, hey, wait. Yosuke, how about you do something? Cause you're the one being a little bit of a jerk here, you know? What a putz. I declare myself not responsible for anything that happens. Oh my God. <laughs> He's breaking my heart, y'all. Meanwhile, in Chie and Yukiko's tent. <laughs> oh, now I get why we're the only three in here. I can't sleep. Oh, I'm hungry, too. I should have eaten a little more of that curry. It might have knocked us unconscious. Then you go to sleep easier. That's, you know, win-win situation. Sheesh. We can't sleep. We can't walk around. I wonder what Teddy's doing right now. Being alone all day is pretty rough when you think about it. You know, a while ago he... <sighs> Hanako is literally honk shoo me being over there. That does it! Yokiko, we're out of here! Where'd we go, though? I don't think climbing down the mountain is a good idea. Do you think she'd stop snoring if I covered her nose and mouth? You mean suffocate her? I mean, I think people tend to stop snoring when you <laughs> kill them in their sleep. No, 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 <laughs> you go, no! Ugh, I can't take it anymore! <gasps> oh, who's there? Oh, now back at our tent. Hey, are you guys still Wait, up? Wait, where did Kanji go? What are you doing here? This is the guy's side. Let us in. Don't be ridiculous. If King Moron finds out, we'll all be expelled. Go back to your tent. We can't. Are there any mm. rotten apples out and about? Any indecent students out there? Oh my god, gross. <laughs> Alright, hurry up and get in. Why did he have to say indecent students like that? Get him out of here. So why are you two here? Well, it's Kanji-kun. He's out cold. Hmm? I, I don't know what happened. He just came in and then and then he he fainted all of a sudden. That's all, right, Yukiko? <laughs> huh? Uh yeah. <laughs> So there was no way we could sleep with him lying there, and you know, if we woke him up, he might have made a fuss.
was. What the hell happened in that That's tent? That's why we left him there. What? That makes no sense. He busted into your tent, then suddenly fainted. Listen up! Being insolent and being indecent are very different <laughs> things. <laughs> it's him! He's right outside! <laughs> hey, turn the light off. can sense King Moron getting closer. Hey! Are you two in there? Answer me! What, what are they sleeping? We're not here! Huh? Dee -hee. Ah, so you're in there. Is Hanamura already asleep? Yes, sir! Fast asleep, sir! Don't get cute, Hanamura! Shut up and go back to sleep! Joke's on you, Yosuke's always cute. <laughs> Ugh. I think I had one too many. I'm so sleepy. Oh, I was gonna say, did he fall asleep outside the tent? Because that would be something else. <sighs> there goes a couple years off my lifespan. <laughs> no joke! We were nearly expelled! Hey, this is you guys' fault! What else are we supposed to do? Anyways, we can't leave now. We'll sneak out before the others wake up tomorrow. Is that good enough for you? What are you so pissed off for? You better not try any funny stuff while we're asleep. Is that clear? Hey, we didn't say you could... Damn it. You owe us for this. You set up a barricade inside the tent using everyone's belongings, and you spent the night cramped up in a tight space. Oh. Yukiko's really feeling the love in that tent then. <laughs> Next day, the students were all dismissed in the morning. Ooh! Look at the little rainbow! How cute! Looks like we're the only ones here! Gotta celebrate Kanji and Yosuke. <laughs> What's wrong? Got a stomachache? No, it's just... I thought I got pissed and ran out of the tent last night. It's so weird. Was it a dream? I woke up. I was in Yosuke's senpai's tent. It, it was a dream. Must have been a dream. Okay. All right, then. Let's get swimming. Are you seriously taking a swim? I'll pass. I'm still all stiff. What are you looking at us for? If you guys want to swim, go right ahead. You know, you two still owe us. Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> We're not going in there. I mean, we do owe you, but... Oh, yeah! We don't have swimsuits with us! Man, of all the luck. Yeah, it really is unfortunate. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. We put up with your dinner, we save you from King Moron, and you won't even have some fun with us in the river. No, it's really too bad. It'd be no problem if I had just had a swimsuit. <laughs> Ta-da! I've got you covered. Oh my god, you weirdo. Yosuke, you're so weird. They're Juness brand originals <laughs> from our brand new line of swimwear that just came in for the summer. I had a clerk friend of mine choose them for me. Pretty swanky, I huh? gotta say, though, that does fit Chie's vibe and that does fit y Yukiko's vibe. Dude. That's just wrong. Did you have those this whole time? Come on, let's all go swimming. What should we do, Yukiko? It'd be no problem <laughs> if I just had a swimsuit. <laughs> you know, we really were looking forward to Stop. dinner. Stop! This is the worst Yosuke arc. Where is... <laughs> Did he trade places with the one in the... In the... <laughs> Saki Senpai's world. I wonder I'm what would have happened if we didn't help you guys last night. We get it already. Sheesh, you just never let things go. All right, that's more like it. How far off did those two go to get changed? Oh my god. Come on, let's get in. Dojima give us kind of some booty shorts <laughs> for Rogue. Oh, they are so cute. Whoa. Man! <laughs> Whoa! That's a lot of- <laughs> He's blushing at the ears! Stop staring like 
that. Hey. You two look cute. <laughs> where, where did that come from? They both seem embarrassed. Man, this is going even better than I expected. Kind of makes up for having to eat that mystery food X last night. And come on, you guys got to admit I chose some good suits. Those girls might be childish on the inside, but I bet they're going to turn into some fine looking women before too long. Don't you think so? I don't want to say either of these. This is insulting to them, and this is also um, insulting to them. <laughs> you guys crossed the line. <laughs> Definitely. Thank you. Cool. <gasps> it's freezing. <laughs> you didn't have to push us in. Who cares? You were going in the river anyway. They brought this on themselves. Sheesh. Aren't they the worst, Kanji Kun? Hey, you've been awful quiet. Are you feeling okay? Don't don't tell me the injuries from yesterday are still. Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> don't do this. To him. <laughs> he has a nose bleed. Ew! Oh my god. Is it from... Oh, I didn't get that nosebleed until they jumped in the water, okay? That was close. What, what was that for? <laughs> I didn't do anything! Hey, what's gotten into you? Huh? Do you hear something over there? You hear a man heaving upstream? No. It seems that King Moron is vomiting further up the river. No. So that's why no one else was here. Good thing we noticed before we went in. I feel sick. <laughs> that's disgusting. You can't do this. Senpai. Don't say No, it. get out of the get out of the waterfall. You feel as though a million showers will never make you clean. I'm ill. I cannot take this anymore. Get me home. Oh, welcome home, big bro. I was so excited to go camping. How was school camp? Don't want to talk about it, Nanako. Uh, I, I was looking so forward to that trip, and all we did was fight. We didn't even get to eat. We didn't get good sleep. And then we got vomit on us. <laughs> that was a horrible time. But you know, I, I, I would do it again. That was a great experience. <laughs> but I feel like now that that, you know, whatever the hell that was, surely, surely we'll start to get back into the mystery of things. Because honestly, I feel like I'd rather take the murders, the murder mysteries, over getting vomited on. <laughs> Is that a personal choice? I don't know. <laughs> but I am excited to get back into it, and we'll see what happens in the next one. <laughs>